Today we discuss second term first lesson direct proportion. By study this lesson you will be able to identify direct proportion, solve problems related to direct proportion using the unitary method, solve problems related to direct proportion using the definition, write the relationship between two direct proportional quantities in the form y equal kx and solve the problems related to conversion of foreign currencies using the knowledge on direct proportion. Show this figure, number of apples and their corresponding prices. Price of an apple is 60 rupees. Price of two apples, 120 rupees. Price of three apples, 180 rupees. And price of four apples, 240 rupees. Based on the above example, a few ratios of difference amount of apples and the ratio of the corresponding prices are shown in the following table. The ratio between number of apples 1 to 2, then ratio of the corresponding prices 60 to 120 can be written simplest form 1 to 2. The ratio between number of apples 2 to 3, the ratio of the corresponding prices 120 to 180. We can written simplest form 2 to 3. The ratio between number of apples 3 to 4, ratio of the corresponding prices 180 to 240. Then can be written simplest form 3 to 4. The ratio between number of apples 1 to 2. The ratio between number of their prices 60 to 120. Then can be written simplest form 1 to 2. The ratio between number of apples 3 to 4. The ratio between their prices 180 to 240. Represent simplest form 3 to 4. The ratio between number of apples and the ratio of the corresponding prices are equal. Observe that these ratios are equal. Let's identify direct proportion. Two distinct quantities are said to be in direct proportion if they increase or decrease in the same ratio. Then look Exercise 1. For each of the case given below, write whether the two quantities are directly proportional or not. First one, the number of pens and the price. The number of pens are increased, relevant their prices are increased. Or number of pens are reducing, relevant their prices are reducing. Therefore, number of pens and the price directly proportion. Second one, the number of people need to finish a task and the number of days taken for it. The number of people are increased. Relevant number of days are reducing or number of people are reducing. Relevant number of days are increased. Therefore, the number of people need to finish a task and the number of days taken for it not directly proportion. 
Last one. The speed of a vehicle and the time taken to travel a certain distance. The speed of a vehicle is increased. Relevant times are reducing. Or speed of a vehicle are reducing. Then relevant times is increased. Therefore, the speed of a vehicle and the time taken to travel a certain distance not directly proportion. Next, solving problems related to direct proportion using the unitary method. The method of solving a problem based on the value of a unit is called the unitary method. First example, if the price of six exercise book is 240 rupees, find the price of nine such exercise book. We know price of six exercise books 240 rupees. Can we find price of an exercise book? 240 rupees divide by 6, 40 rupees. Then price of 9 exercise book, 40 rupees multiplied by 9, 360 rupees. Then second example, if the cost of 4 ice creams is 220 rupees, Find the cost of seven such ice cream. The cost of four ice creams, 220 rupees. Price of an ice cream, 220 rupees divided by four. Price of an ice cream, 55 rupees. Then price of seven ice cream, 55 rupees multiplied by 7, 385 rupees. Next, we go second method of solving questions of direct proportion. Solving problems related to direct proportion using the definition. First example, if the distance traveled in 4 hours, by a motorbike moving at a constant speed is 240 km. Find the distance traveled by it in 7 hours. First, identify two quantities. First quantity is time in hours and relevant second quantity is distance in kilometers. For Four hours travel for 240 kilometers. And let's take distance travel by seven hours as x. These are directly proportion. <laughs> These are direct proportion can be right ratio between time and distance. The ratio between time 4 to 7 and the ratio between distance 240 to x can be written as fraction 4 over 7 equal 240 over x. Find the value of x doing the cross multiplication. 4 times x equal 240 times 7. Find the value of x. Both sides divide by 4. X equal 60 times 7. X equal 420 km. Accordingly, the distance traveled in 7 hours is 420 km. Then look at this second example. Find the price at which an item brought for 4,800 rupees should be marked to be earn a profit of 20%. 
first we identify two quantities first one purchase price and second quantity mark price if the broad price of an item for 100 rupees then mark price 120 rupees let's assume that selling price of an item brought for 4800 rupees is x these are direct proportion we can write the ratio between purchase price and mark price ratio between purchase price 100 to 4800 and Ratio between mark price 120 to x can be written as fraction 100 over 4800 equal 120 over x. Find the value of x doing the cross multiplication 100 times x equal 4800 times 120 both sides divide by 100 x equal 48 times 120 x equal 5760 rupees accordingly the selling price should be 5760 rupees Next, solving problems related to direct proportion algebraically. Look at this. Look at this example. Number of apples and their prices. Price of an apple 60 rupees. Price of two apples 120 rupees. Price of three apples 180 rupees and price of 4 apples 240 rupees then the amount of money spent is divided by the number of apples first one 60 divided by 160 second one 120 divided by 260 third one 180 divided 360 last one 240 divided by 460. It can be observed the, that if the amount of money spent is divided by the number of apples is the value that is obtained is a constant. Money is spent y divided by number of apples x. We can take out the constant value. We can identify K. Money is spent by number of apples. X. We can take out the constant value K. This equation can be written Y over X equal K. We can write Y equal K X. Let's learn how to solve problems related to direct proportion using the above algebraic equations by considering the following example. First one, if the price of six exercise books is 240 rupees, find the price of 12 such exercise books. Let's Take the number of books as x and the price as y. y equal 240 and x equal 60. Then we can write the equation y equal kx. After that above values are substitution. 240 equal 6 times k. Both sides divide by 6. We can take the value for k. Therefore, k equal 40. The price of 12 exercise book is y. Then y equal kx. Substitute 
should be a bound value 40 times 12 y equal 480. Therefore, the price of 12 exercise book is 480 rupees. Next, we discuss foreign currency. We know that every country has its own currency unit. The rate at which one country exchange its currency with that of another country is called the exchange rate. Here the exchange, here the exchange rate given is the value of one foreign currency unit in Sri Lanka. Foreign currency unit of United States of America, American dollar. One American dollar is 199 rupees 90 cents. Foreign currency unit of Saudi Arabia, Saudi Real. One Saudi Real is 53 rupees 29 cents. Foreign currency unit of England, sterling pound. One sterling pound is 276 rupees 35 cents. Foreign currency unit of European Union, Euro. One Euro is 235 rupees 98 cents. Foreign currency unit of Japan, Yen. One Yen is 1 rupees 81 cents. Foreign currency unit of India, Indian rupee. One Indian rupees is 2 rupees 68 cents. Foreign currency unit of Singapore, Singapore dollars. One Singapore dollar is 147 rupees 41 cents. From the, from the information internet on 2021 July 16th. Then look at these few examples. First one, if the monthly salary of a person working in a Saudi Arabia is 1200 Saudi Riyal. What is his salary in Sri Lankan rupees? Value of 1 Saudi Riyal equal 53 rupees 29 cents. So, value of 1200 Saudi Riyal equal 53 rupees 29 cents multiplied by 1200. 63,948 rupees. Then we can look at the example. How many Singapore dollars are received when ready-made garment worth 73,500 are exported from Sri Lanka to Singapore? The value of 147 Sri Lanka rupees is 1 Singapore dollar. The value of 1 Sri Lankan rupees is 1,147 Singapore dollar. So, the value of 73,500 Sri Lankan rupees equal 1,147 into 73,500. 500 Singapore dollars. Then we can do in the extra activities in our test book exercise 10.1, 10.2, 10.3, 10.4 and 10.5. Have a nice day. Goodbye.